Now this video is about series and parallel wiring as it pertains to battery blocks. Understanding series and parallel wiring is the heart of wiring a battery. Battery blocks make it easier because it's color coded. Let me show you. Let's start with parallel wiring because parallel wiring is probably easier to understand. Parallel wiring multiplies amperage. It does not multiply voltage. Series wiring multiplies voltage. So in this diagram, we've got four different cells. They're all connected together. All the positives are connected together. And all the negatives are connected together. This will multiply the amperage on this cell. The positive terminal of this battery is essentially the entire top of the battery. And the negative terminal is the entire bottom of the battery. So if each of these was 3 amp hours, 4 times 3 is 12, you would have a 12 amp hour battery. So, to wire things in parallel, we need to connect the negative ends with the negative ends and the positive ends with the positive ends. Let's take a look at an individual 18650 cell. This is the negative end, and this is the positive end. Of course, you check this with your voltmeter. So, let's connect all the negative ends together. I'm using the magnetic strip without the plastic case, just so you can see it. There it is. Now the negatives are all wired together. And now all the positives are wired together. Okay, let's take a look at these batteries inside a case. Here we have a case. Negatives wired together and positives wired together. What if we want to wire this group in parallel? So we'll get not six, but twelve cells in parallel. We connect uh, the positives to the positives. and we connect the negatives to the negatives and now we have a group of cells that is wired in parallel. Okay, let's go on to series wiring. Series wiring multiplies voltage. In series wiring you take those same cells and you connect them the positives to the negatives and the negatives to the positive. But it really helps to start when I wire a battery I start with an, I start with the negative end of the battery. So let's make this here I've got labeled as the negative end of the battery. So the current actually flows up through the cells like this. You can see the path of the arrows. So you take, the, here's the negative. This does not attach to anything. On the top of that cell, the positive and the negative get attached to each other. Current flows down through. Positive and negative get attached. Current throws back up. Positive and negative get attached. Current flows through the battery to the positive and the positive comes out and here is the negative terminal of the battery over here positive and negative so in this you do not you um, so let's take a look at how this looks in a battery block okay so we've got the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal of the battery let's make this negative terminal the starting place this will be the negative terminal of the entire battery and so remember the current will flow up through here across the top and into here so we need to connect these two together. Positive goes to negative. And now we know that the colors help us line it up easily. That the current flows down through here and this negative has to go into this. This positive has to go to this negative. We come back up. And this, and this connects to here. So now we've connected these together. There'll be that one plate in the middle. And we've just created a battery. The negative terminal would be here, because it's the one that's not attached to anything. And the positive terminal is here. So here's the negative, here's the positive. Even though this isn't wired together, let's go ahead and check the voltage, just to be sure that it's done correctly. And the black is here, and the negative is here. And you can see that it's saying air. Make sure my plates are touching. But you see it's saying 13.95 volts. So we've multiplied the voltage on this battery. We've essentially created a 12 volt battery.